What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, coming at you with my hands-on and first impressions video of the Samsung Galaxy A04s. So without further ado, let's get started. Now the A04s is yet another budget option from Samsung. Now at the time of me making this video, this phone is not being offered at US carriers. However, I'm definitely expecting it to make its way over to those carriers at some point. But at least for now, you can buy this device factory unlocked, and this is the international model of the phone. But as time goes on and this phone does officially get released in the US, I will be updating the various links in the video description, so certainly take a look to see the most up-to-date pricing and availability for this phone. Now, as the name of the A04s does imply, this device is the successor to last year's Samsung Galaxy A03s, and that phone was very successful. So I'm certainly expecting the A04s to also be a very hot seller for Samsung. Now before I show you a variety of different things about this device, let's see what all comes included here in the box. So here's the box, so you can see right there, Galaxy A04s. We have a quick start guide, we have a USB-C cable for charging and data transfer. And again, this is the international model of the phone, so this is not a US charger, so keep that in mind. And then we also have a SIM card removal tool. Now with the Galaxy A04s, we're getting a very large 6.5 inch display. Now this display is PLS IPS LCD, and it does feature a 90 hertz refresh rate. So with that faster refresh rate, essentially things move a bit smoother here on the display. So it gives the phone a bit more of a premium feel compared to phones that run at 60 hertz, which is pretty much the standard. Now, in addition to that, this device features a 720p display, but despite it being 720p, I feel like things do look very crisp and clear here, and this phone certainly does not have a bad display by any means. Now we're getting a PPI of 270, a 20 by nine aspect ratio, so a more narrow but taller form factor here, and we're getting an 80.7% screen to body ratio. So overall, we have decently small bezels. However, we do have a bit of a thicker bottom bezel, and then we do have a water drop notch up top here. Now in that notch is a five megapixel front facing camera, and stay tuned for my full review video of this device, as I'll be showing you a variety of different image samples from all the various cameras on it. Now this device does feature 64 gigabytes of internal storage, and along with that, we're also getting micro SD card expansion. So if you do find yourself filling up a lot of that internal space, then you can always offload photos and videos, for example, onto a micro SD card. But in general, considering that the A04s is a very low end option here from Samsung, I am glad that we are at least getting as much internal storage as we have, as I feel like that's a pretty generous amount. Now with this device, there's no wireless charging, but we do have a fingerprint sensor on the power button. So let's give that a try. So very quick, let's try that one more time. So definitely very fast and responsive. Now, in addition to the fingerprint sensor, this phone also features face unlock. So I do appreciate that we do have multiple methods here for accessing the phone itself. Now, taking a look at the cameras on the back of the device, we do have a triple camera setup with a 50 megapixel main camera, a two megapixel depth sensing camera for portrait mode, and a two megapixel macro camera for close up images. Now this phone does support portrait mode for both the rear and front cameras. So certainly keep that in mind. And in addition to that, this phone does support 1080p video recording for the front and rear cameras as well. Now with the Samsung Galaxy A04s, this device is certainly meant to be a very low end option from Samsung. In fact, other than probably the upcoming A04, this device is pretty much one of the lowest end phones that they are offering. So as part of that, we unfortunately are not getting 5G connectivity. This phone is just 4G LTE, so keep that in mind. But we're getting four gigabytes of RAM, paired up with the Samsung Exynos 850 processor. Now, I did run a Geekbench 5 benchmark test, and here are the scores in that test right now. So I got a single core score of 169, and a multi-core score of 882. So what I recommend doing is running this test on your current phone, and then compare your scores to these scores to get a better idea of how the A04s compares to your current device. Because who knows, this phone might actually be a performance downgrade compared to what you currently have. And I'd imagine that if you're looking to upgrade to a new phone, you probably don't want your new phone to be slower than your current phone. So overall, I would only recommend this phone for people that just want kind of the bare minimum. Of course, you're getting what you're paying for, considering that this is a very affordable device. Now, in comparison, if you want to spend $1,000 on a more premium smartphone, then sure, you're going to be getting a way better experience. But keep in mind that you'll be paying much more. 
So for what it is, I feel like we are getting quite a bit here on a more positive note. The fact that we're getting such a large display makes this device excellent for going on social media, watching video content, browsing the web, and even doing other things like looking at text messages or doing video calls is much better with such a large canvas. And then at the same time, the display itself does look really nice. Now viewing angles could be a bit better, but that's something that you'd get with a more premium, more expensive smartphone. But if you are somebody that spends a lot of time on your device, maybe you're constantly on various social media apps, or maybe your phone is a big part of what you do for a living, maybe you do customer service for example, then I would probably go for something different other than the A04s, as you probably will want a phone that's a bit more powerful and will last for a much longer period of time without getting really any slowdowns at all. Now, this device does feature a very large 5,000 milliamp hour internal battery, so definitely expect to get very good battery life from it, and it does support up to 15 watt fast charging. So that's not too bad. You'll be able to recharge the phone at a pretty decent pace, which is especially important considering that the battery is as large as it is. Now, this phone is running Android 12 out of the box, with Samsung's skin laid over it. Now, I'm actually a big fan of Samsung's One UI because they do give us quite a few other features that you typically would not get with other smartphones. Now, I'll be going over all those various exclusive features in my upcoming tips and tricks video for the Galaxy A04s, but essentially, if you've used a Samsung phone anytime recently, then just know that the experience here will be very familiar to you. Now, one thing that is unfortunate about this phone is that there is no NFC, so if you do like to make mobile contactless payments using tap and pay, using Google Pay, for example, or maybe Samsung Pay, then just know that you can't do that here with this device. But again, that is another thing that I would expect to not see here with a phone that is as affordable as this one. Now, I almost forgot to show you, but here is a preview of how things look on the camera app on the device. This is with the main rear camera right now. Then from here, we can go to the More tab to access some other options. So you can see there's Pro Mode, Panorama, Food, and then also Macro. So with that Macro camera, we can get very close up and have things be in really good detail, which is a nice feature. Also, we can go to portrait mode to get those nice blurred out backgrounds. We also can adjust the blur itself, which is nice that we have that feature. Then we can flip around to the front facing camera and take a portrait selfie. So there's me right there. We can also take a group selfie, which crops things out a little bit. And then if we wanna take a standard selfie, that's also an option. But now that I've gone over a variety of different specifications and features for the Samsung Galaxy A04s, Let's take a closer look at the actual hardware itself. Now, I already talked quite a bit about the front panel here. Essentially, we are getting that thicker bottom bezel along with the water drop notch. But in general, I'm a big fan of the display that we're getting here as the quality is very good. On the left side of the phone, we have the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card. Then on the right side of the phone, we have volume up, volume down, and also the power button, which doubles as the fingerprint sensor. Then up top here, we have the noise canceling microphone. And then on the bottom of the device, we have the 3.5mm headphone jack, microphone, USB-C port for charging and data transfer, and we have the speaker. And then on the back of the phone, we have the camera module, flash, and Samsung logo. Now overall, I'm not a big fan of this glossy finish on the back of the phone. As you can see, it does pick up a lot of fingerprints, which is a bit unfortunate. And in addition to that, this phone is made completely of plastic which is to be expected at this price point, but I would definitely recommend pairing it up with some sort of case, as you most likely will not want the plastic to get very scratched up, which is prone to happen since the phone is actually made of plastic. But in general, I wouldn't say there's too much here with the Galaxy A04s that is necessarily that new, but on the other hand, it's kind of an evolution from the previous generation, the Galaxy A03s. Now I will be comparing that phone to this phone in a separate video, to really go over all the various differences and improvements. But again, they're kind of just building upon a phone that already was very popular and kind of just giving it some slight modifications. So in general, I don't have a problem with that. I'm very confident that the A04s will be very popular, not only in the US, but all around the world. And I'm certainly excited to see how everybody that ends up getting this phone thinks of it. But most importantly, I wanna know what you think of the Galaxy A04s. Do you think this phone is a worthy successor to the previous generation? Or do you wish we got a bit more here that's new. Definitely let me know, but this is Kevin here. This is my hands-on first impressions video with the Samsung Galaxy A04s, and I will see you in the next one. Take care and have a great rest of your day.